Okay, so I'm actually going to start the vlog, right? And I started a couple times, but they just didn't go the way I wanted them to go. So, I didn't post them. But today, I want to start the vlog. As of right now, I don't know how much I'm going to upload, but... I don't know how long the vlogs are going to be. I don't know. I really do. Nothing big going on today. Um, Kirsten hair is getting done today. As you can tell. Say hi. <laughs> you don't want to speak. Hi. <coughs> she just woke up. So, um, I'm about to clean up because I have a meeting with a lady in somewhere between 12 and 2. Uh, I'm supposed to be in a play, and she's coming over to talk to me about the script and everything. So, I have a meeting with her, and then um, the hubby is about to fix the car, and Kirsten hair has to get done. So, I'm about to get up and clean up because the kitchen looks a mess. So, I need to clean up the kitchen and the living room and the bathroom. And I'll do Kirsten and I'll want later. Why you hear me? I'm so hungry right now. But we got leftovers. Is it wrong for me to eat leftover pieces of it? This early? Babe. Hmm? Is it wrong to eat leftover pieces this early? Do you think the scar is gonna be on Kirsten's face for a long time? No. Like till she get older? No. That's just correct. No, but it's been there a while. It's been like a month. She will recover. Huh? She will recover. Kirsten been in this lovey dovey mood lately. I don't know what's going on with her. Oh, and then she went to a Mickey Mouse party. Um, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Because I was in a play on Saturday and I couldn't go, but my mom took her with her. So, she was in a play. I mean, she... <laughs> she, uh... Went to a Mickey Mouse party and they had, like, the whole Mickey Mouse clubhouse people there. And I heard... My mom said that she was just, like, so overprotective over Mickey... She didn't want nobody to touch Mickey. Mickey belonged to her. None of the other kids could play with Mickey but her. And then she came home. The next day, she woke up and she walked around the house, like, collecting all of her Mickey Mouse toys. Like, that's her favorite character. So, she's collecting all her Mickey Mouse toys and set them in the middle of the floor. <laughs> and was singing at the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside. It's funny. <laughs> it was so funny. And she been, like, on this Mickey Mouse kick every single Saturday. She wake up with Mickey in her hand. I don't know where that little Mickey she got from the party. Babe, you know where that Mickey Mouse went? I don't know where it is. Oh, uh, Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. Let me kiss. Mm. You give Mickey a hug? washed her hair last night and I let it air dry because I don't put heat on her hair yet so I let it air dry overnight and now we're about to do her hair well not now 
she's getting her done after I clean up the kitchen, which I need to get up and do right now. Hey. I had to do my hair too because I have class tomorrow. I'm at cosmetology school. <laughs> you just go stare. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> the cheese. No brush your teeth? Mm. Mm. Go brush your teeth with daddy. Oh, I just set it down. I thought it was dirty. It's right there on top. Alright, y'all. So, about to hit these dishes. Hello. I should have did it last night, but I was so tired. So I'm going to do these dishes. And then this living room and the bathroom. Hopefully I can wash some. Oh my God, y'all lost $20, right? Okay. So I have $40 in my wallet. I took 20 out when I went in the gas station. But then my husband came in the gas station too, and he just ended up paying for everything. Like... I had and that he had in the gas and stuff so so I don't know what I did with that 20 I don't know where it is I just thought about it again and I, I didn't have on a coat it's not in the pants pockets that I had on I checked my wallet, like, I mean, my purse. I didn't just, like, throw it back in my purse, so I really don't know what I did with it. I, I really think, I thought I put it in my parents' pocket, but it's not there. Maybe it fell out somewhere when I took them off. I don't know. Anyway, it's about to do these dishes. Um, yeah. I'll let y'all in a minute. Alright, so, as y'all can see, I'm tired. Like, the kitchen was a mess, y'all, and I didn't, you know, like, realize how much it was going to be until I started, and then once I started, I was like, okay, I can't stop. So that's why, I, like, I haven't even did my hair, I haven't had Kirsten hair, it's literally, like, two hours later, and I'm still not done, like, I have to mop the kitchen floor. But I did, like, wash the walls, wipe down cabinets, all that stuff, like, the legs of the table, like, I did all that type of stuff, so. It took me longer than expected, but I'm getting it done. I'm about to move to the living room once I mop the kitchen floor and move to the living room. Um, I want to clean the couches because Kirsten took a green marker and wrote on the cream couch, but I think I'm going to wait till tonight so it'll be able to dry like while everybody's sleeping. Like, when nobody sit on the couches and stuff, so I'm gonna wait till tonight to clean the couches and then. You know? But right now, I mean, but right now, what I'm gonna do is clean the living room. Like I need to clean my desk off. Um, Y'all can see it. You stink. You you pop. You potty. So for some reason, I don't know who taught her this, but. Instead of her saying I potty, she say I stank. I stank. Let me see. <laughs> if she passed gas, she like I stank. <laughs> so I never know if she pottied or if she passed gas. But I think she just passed gas because I don't smell it. She was just in the kitchen. And I don't smell nothing. 
But oh my god, y'all, my nails were done before I started. They were like pink. And look at them now. Like, I had polished them yesterday. I mean, I didn't do it like perfect job. I didn't do like base coat and top coat. And I just put some polish on it because I felt like polishing my nails. Let me see if you see. What's that? Let me see. She just got mad because I tried to check her diaper. Let me see. Do y'all see her hair? Now wait till after I'm done with it. Like. I'm going to show y'all the steps of how I do it. But, like, I let it dry, but I think I'm going to have to wet it again in order to do it. Because she's not going to let me touch that. Watch. Watch this. <laughs> so, the hubby is gone. He went to go um buy the part that he needs to fix the car. And stop at the post office because I have an online boutique and I didn't have any more bags to ship my stuff. So he had to go buy some bags for me. So yeah. Um, I actually, I actually closed down the boutique for a while because it got a little overwhelming trying to ship everything. And then one of the sites that I was ordering from was planned and I don't know, it got overwhelming. Like. School, like between school, being a mom, being a wife, ministry, like everything just got overwhelming. So I was like, I need to shut down this site for a second. But I'm going to open it back up after Easter. That's my goal. So open it back up after Easter. I don't know. We shall see how that goes. But yeah, I'm about to get back to this kitchen. And, um, yeah, let me show you guys. I'm still not done. As you can see, like, I got the chairs and her table and stuff on there. Um, I should have told him to buy some stuff for these cabinets because if you can see, like, that cabinet right there, it doesn't, well, none of the cabinets actually close all the way and it annoys me. Like, look at that. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's like... Usually it pops back open. See that? I don't know what it is, but they don't close all the way. But I still had to do silverware. Well, let me stop lying because I'm not doing the silverware. I hate washing silverware, and we don't have a dishwasher. And I hate washing silverware, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let my husband wash the silverware. I just always mop, like I mop and all that stuff, and then leave him in the sink, and he comes at night, and he does it. Oh, let me show you guys. So, this is what I got the other day, uh, Friday. <laughs> Wait, so. I opened the closet, and she's like, ah. She sees something in here. There's nothing in there for her. Come on. Okay. So this is what I got. Oh, fine. I'm too excited, you guys. So. I got a fondue maker. And this is what it looks like. And we're going to use. This bread, it's like just some regular garlic bread because we love garlic. And I'm going to do some cheese and stuff. I'm so excited. So excited. You don't understand how excited I am. But let me go ahead and finish before the hubby get home so I can chill, relax, chillax with him for a second before he goes outside to finish the car. So. Okay, y'all, so. I'm so freaking proud of my husband, right? Um, my father passed away two years ago, and he was a mechanic. And, like, one of the best in the city. Like, everybody knew who my father was. So, my husband has been working on our car 
and it's been taking him a little while but it's been really really cold here in Michigan so he couldn't um, work on the car like he wanted to because like some of the pieces was like frozen and um, like and he couldn't get it off but it's been warming up lately so he's been working on the car or whatever and it's been working so he finally got the piece off and he needed it off and now he's gonna put um, the new piece on but anyways that's not even what I got on for it but so he came up the stairs with packages right and I'm like I kept thinking like did I order something when I seen the box the two boxes in his hand I'm like I'm like did I order something I know I ordered something from Amazon and eBay but I'm like it's not that big so he wouldn't have these huge boxes in his hand so um when he finally came all the way through the door I'm like that's a kid table. <laughs> My daughter already has one of these tables. I mean, hers is Mickey Mouse, but she already has, like, can you see it? This is a table. It's like a princess table. So I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, did somebody order her something? Like, have it shipped to the house? Because people do that a lot with my daughter. Like, um, my mother-in-law lives in Mississippi. Um, and my husband, his cousins they stay in Ohio so sorry y'all don't mind the mess I've been throwing stuff on the floor <laughs> off of the desk that I'm about to throw away it, it was just easier to do it that way but um yeah so we they got another big another big box I don't want you to see their their address well they got another big box because we stay in the apartment so I'm like, what the heck is this stuff? And he was like, no, that's the uh, the girl that stays downstairs. She wasn't here. And he was like, you know, I just signed for her stuff because I know how it feels to miss a package. Which, he gets a lot of stuff delivered because, you know, he has his own business. So, uh, he fixed computers and does a lot of graphic work. He fixed phones and all that stuff. So, he gets a lot of stuff delivered here. But, he was like, I know how it feels to... to miss a package so I didn't want her to miss her package and and I felt like that was so sweet of him or whatever but I did get excited for a second thinking that this was my package <laughs> I was like oh my god I hope somebody sent something because we just got something in the mail like literally just got let me show you guys like two days ago maybe we just got uh, hold on I just want to get all the pieces, cause aren't you supposed to be laying down, little girl? Get up there. Get up there. Go. Lay down. Good girl. I can't show y'all her because I don't know what's wrong with her, but she likes to sleep with no diaper on. But yeah. Anyways, so. His cousin had wrote me on Facebook and was like, hey, be expecting a package today. And I was like, what? Like, what? She was like, be on the lookout for a package. So I was like, okay. And it came. I'm going to show you. Okay, so it came in like this box. And I'm going to show you. She bought her like a bunch of little cute outfits. I'm going to show you the one she wore already. She wore this one on Sunday to church. So, she got this little skirt. If you can see, it has, like, Hello Kitty all over it. Looks like that. And she wore it with... Hold on. Yeah, this one. She wore it with this shirt. It says, Glitter Makes Me Happy. So, it looks like that together okay and then she bought this which if i don't know kirsten don't really dress like this but um i really like it so i'm gonna she's probably gonna take pictures in this because we have family pictures coming up so i think i'm gonna let her do some pictures in this because it's really 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 cute but i would have said for easter but me and her dressing alike for easter so She's oh, I'm not gonna be able to wear that one. Then she got this little Hello Kitty shirt. Um these shorts, which I might pair these together. Um, like that. I might put these together. 
But I don't know because it got a skirt like this too. So that could go with that. Or I could just put those shorts under the skirt. Oh no. The skirt already has shorts under I don't know. I'll figure something out. But then she has just a regular shirt like that. Just a regular tee which she really needs. And then another long sleeve shirt which she's probably going to wear tomorrow. Um... Cause I think she's going over my granny, over her granny's house, my granny, <laughs> my mama. I think she's going over my mom's house. Cause I'm going to church tomorrow. But if she don't go to my mom's house, she's to probably wear this to church tomorrow. But this shirt looks like this, just like it's made, just like the other shirt. But it says, "Mom rocks." So yeah, we got all of that in this little box and I feel I, I love when people think about my baby because it's not often like that people actually think about her if that makes sense y'all my hair look a mess but it's okay but yeah it's not often that people like think about my baby people don't like come and pick her up and like they don't call her like she she didn't even really get calls on her birthday like her second birthday but she got gifts she got gifts from my mother-in-law, her, her Mima, she calls her Mima. All the grandkids call her Mima. And then my mom, which she calls Grandma. And then, of course, from me and her dad. And, um, oh, from my best friend, which she calls her auntie. So she did get gifts from us four, which is fine because me and my husband, we went, we got her a lot of stuff. My mom bought her shoes and outfits. His mom um, gave us basically majority of the money for her little car that she had that she got last year, which she's get probably gonna get an upgrade this year because she's getting a little too big for that one. So I'm probably gonna like sell that one or donate it to the church or something that she got last year, and which I think I'm gonna donate it to the church. Yeah, because in which I'm going through her toys right now. Her birthday is not until August, but I'm sorry y'all, I'm like rambling. <laughs> And I'm not looking at the camera as much. I'm getting used to this. My bad. But her birthday is not until August. August 13th. Why did I have to think about that? Wow. Her birthday is August 13th. And I'm already like right now getting rid of stuff. Like like I'm going through. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm going through her toys now. Like starting to pick out things that she doesn't play with anymore right now so that I can get ready to donate those so we can make room for the new stuff that she's going to get for her birthday and since her birthday is not not that far from Christmas you know like I'm going to get rid of more stuff than I would normally because she's going to get a lot more for Christmas so and she's having a big birthday party this year um, she's has, having a beach theme party. It's like a Minnie Mouse beach theme party. So, yes, I planned it already. It's only March, and I already have, like, majority of her birthday party planned out. <laughs> I'm just that type of person. But, um, she's having a beach theme party. So, we're inviting a lot of people, so I know she's going to get a lot of gifts. Because, like, her first birthday, she had a Chuck E. Cheese, and she got so many freaking gifts. Like, we had two tables full of gifts. So, I'm just going to plan for more gifts. And plus, she's older. So, um, you know, I can invite more kids. Like, older kids, too. People that has older kids. Because the first birthday party was majority, like, one-year-olds. And then I had, like, my cousins there and my little sister who's, like, ten. And my, my nieces who are, like, who were, like, seven or something. Six at the time or something like that. So... Um, yeah, so right now, I'm just going through her stuff. I'm even going through her clothes, getting ready to donate her clothes, in which a part of me hates that, that, I won't say hate, a part of me doesn't like that I donate all her stuff because, like, I don't have any clothes from when she was first born, like, newborn. I think all I have now is, like, 12 months up. If that, some 12 months, but majority is like 24, 18 months up. Because I donate everything. I give it away to the people that need it. I give it, like, I just give it away to everybody. But now that I'm starting to have, like, baby fever again, it's like, I should, I feel like I should have kept that stuff. But, I don't know. I don't know. 
maybe I should have kept the stuff. Maybe I shouldn't. But I feel like, and this is just me and my husband, personal beliefs, you know, I love giving. And if I have it, if I see somebody that's in need and I have it, I'm going to give it to them. And I feel like the way that God provided for us the first child, he's, he will provide for us the second child. And, I mean, like, even still to this day, Kirsten is in a 3T. But somebody gave us, like, big those big black garbage bags that gave us clothes so many clothes that i probably won't even have to buy anything for the summertime you know what i'm saying like that's the type of stuff i feel like god provides for us he he lays it on people's hearts to think about us like people call us all the time and say hey i got clothes what size do kirsten wear you know hey what size shoe do kirsten wear you know and i'm not the type of person that that's against shopping at like thrift stores and Goodwill and stuff. I love me and my husband love the thrift store. We love the Goodwill. I shopped there for myself. I shopped there for my daughter. I found her a pair of snow boots for three dollars. Brand new snow boots, three dollars. They were Hello Kitty as well. So it's like, you know, I'll go to the thrift store and shop for her. But yeah, I'm just rambling. Probably just trying to get out and finish cleaning up this living room. <laughs> Cause I really don't feel like it, and I have a meeting. The lady didn't come that was supposed to come at um, anywhere from twelve to two. She she rescheduled with me and made it four, I think four or four thirty. You know, but I figured, hey, that's good. It's still giving me time to clean up because the house was a mess. I mean, my plan was to clean up anyway, but yeah, I think I'm gonna work out tonight. I want my best friend to work out with me, but. She kind of like, she's sick right now, so she like, I can't work out, I don't feel good. But yeah. This is all I have to say. I'm waiting on Hubby to come back in. So I'll talk to you guys in a minute. You haven't been on the vlog like all day. He don't want to be on the vlogs, so anytime you see him, it'll probably be stuff like this. All he do is sit on one of his devices. You don't want to talk about the car? You won't even kiss me? <laughs> you childish. Alright, so I'm about to make this fondue. He don't want that. And this is my first time making it myself. Okay, yeah, so it didn't take long at all. Like, literally, that was like not even eight minutes but okay so let me show you what it looks like i did along with bread that's what i wanted bread i like mine a little toasted and then that's the cheese huh okay i didn't make a lot like i said it's just me so i just made a little bit can you bring it here pepper to it. Good. Can you have me the water out the freezer? Yep, y'all. Pretty good. Gonna do this more often. Alright, I'm about to eat, so I'll talk to y'all later. 
そしてそしてそしてグッジョーハニーヤッホー So, Hubby's back, and it's about 8 o'clock at night. He's actually about to go back outside and fix the car, but、um, I braided Kirsten's hair to the back. It's not perfect. It's just something for her to sleep on because I didn't want her hair to be mad when she w a k e up in the morning. And we're watching all of the Frozen songs on YouTube until it's bath time, which is about to be in a minute. For her, and then we're gonna put her in the bed, and then bath time for mommy. And then mommy's getting in the bed. I suppose to go to school tomorrow, but I'm not because, well, that's if this car, if he gets the car fixed tonight, then I'm going to school in the morning. If he doesn't get the car fixed, then I'm not going. So let's pray to get this car fixed. But I'm ending this vlog right now. I guess it might be posted tomorrow. Who knows? We shall see.